DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Emily, I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Because uh, you're going to have to leave it like some, like the drop of a hat to go deal with some sort of banking thing in the middle of doing I don't know what. Yeah, and I'm so sorry. I'm on hold because it's a really important call. And if they, pick, if they pick up, I've been on hold for like half hour. So, you know, chances are that I could do the whole show and still be on hold. That's probably what's going to happen. But... I may need to duck out for like a minute or two if they answer. I think I think we'll be okay. And I might get knocked out by a thunderstorm that's going on right now. Oh, we're getting we're getting hit with like a uh, Emily's probably getting it too. We're getting this gnarly like windstorm and low moisture. It's shit. It's been that's... windy all day. Like I don't. But it all we yeah we're gonna get it worse throughout the week. But yeah. Yeah, good time. Spring weather. What's up, guys? Bring on spring. So we don't have any guests tonight, right? Uh, we do. Oh. We got Daniel the Vape Man back. What's happening? Thank you for having me again. Uh, Daniel is more more of a family member than a guest. He is. He I'm is. forced okay. to be here. You know, they, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. Well, we're here to talk about that. some bilberries. Are you excited? Yes. I, I was, and then I started single flavor testing. <laughs> <laughs> and now that excitement is gone, and I understand Dave a whole lot more. Yeah, yeah. Before we get into this awesomeness, though, let's give away some flavors. Let's. All you have to do to, to uh, win some flavors is go to the Reddit Flavor of the Week and comment. And uh, this week is called, I'm a little uh, kind of impressed. It's uh, drummer Bill Berry quit REM in 1997. The flavor of the week beats on. Is that a real? Oh, I'm pretty impressed with your title this time, Dave. Thank you. Was that his um, name? And our normal Reddit giveaway winner from Vape Gears, again, isn't working. Surprise, surprise. But Odie Duda, he's saving our butt. He made this little thing that we're gonna use tonight and it's just like this little little purge oh i like this one this little purge thing so i already put in the url for the flavor of the week and it, it populated everyone who commented minus us and i just have to hit this button and i'm gonna do it you guys ready yeah let's do it i like all those great so now stuff. like names are just disappearing and whoever's left is the winner. So, congratulations to oh, my buds. Come on. Yeah, come okay. on. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, oh so Joe, cute. congratulations. You won $20 with the Billberry flavors. Oh, I like it. He you. fixed it. If you want Bill Berry, though, just go to bullcityflavors.com slash noted. And uh, you can get 10% off the flavors, the Bill Berry flavors. That's pretty cool of them. Thank you very much, Bull City. You guys rock. All right. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just jump into it. What even is a Bill Berry? Right? Isn't it just like a European blueberry? Yeah, that's what yeah. I, from what I gather. I've never so... eaten a Bill Berry before. So I had plenty of time to like do everything. So I wasn't able to like fresh, uh, fresh uh, bill berries, but I got like frozen ones. 
Uh, what I get from it is like a blueberry and a blackberry had a baby. Are they smaller? It, they were all mushed, so like they were just okay. like little pebble, like, like they just looked yeah. kind of like big raisins. I don't know, it, it didn't it look appetizing. Like sweet as <laughs> they don't look appetizing. No, <laughs> it not. was frozen, it was frozen, you know, so yeah. like it's always a gamble with that, but I wanted to see how it tasted. And yeah. it, it tasted good, it just didn't look great at all. But yeah. Okay, so darker than a blueberry. Yeah. Is that, are they, so. The other ones that you had are they tartar? Is that is that it, what that blackberry ness is coming from? Is no, it like being tartar, just darker? Syrupy, darker. The tart. The, it's a little bit tartar, but nothing exceptional. It's just slightly tartar. So it's like, is it more like tartar. more like musty than like a regular blueberry? Like, is it darker? Uh, no. It, it. I wouldn't say that. Just dark. It was pretty sweet, but I'm not sure if that was because they added some to it. Uh Hmm. So but I actually like, liked it. It's like blueberry jam, but a real fruit. Yeah, and it made really good. I made smoothies out of it and uh, put it on top of like pancakes. It was really good. Yeah. Should we just jump right, right into well, it? So Blueberries. Who has the most flavors this week. I like it too. Yeah, I have two. I what got I three of them. I got four. And I have a rare one, so I figured I'd just get that one out of the way, and then I've... we go at it. Sounds good. Four. I didn't know they had that many. So All right, let's I, do this. I went to, uh, uh, what is it, DIY Flavor Supply or whatever. I wanted those, and I found Innerware Sweet Tornado, uh, which is supposed to be a Bilberry Greek yogurt. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's off to a good start, so I thought. Uh, I did some mixes with it, and I actually liked it as mixes, but at 2%, yeah, the yogurt was creamy. It was a Greek semi-tart yogurt. Uh, it seems to have, like, a light, crummy crust in the background. Uh, the bilberry was fantastic with a nice jam aspect, but it was a light jam body, however. Uh, it's lacking a lot of depth beyond that. It needs help to thicken up the yogurt as well as back the bilberries, but it mixes well. Uh, so at 2.5%, that's what I got. So I pushed it to 5%. It's no, do not, don't. Uh, it started turning slightly cardboard. The, blue, oh. the bilberries disappeared. Uh, the yogurt increased uh, on the crummy side, but it was a cardboard crummy side. Uh, yeah. So there's a fine line. I'm assuming 2 to 3% is somewhere there. It mixed very well, though. Uh, I had a, like a... A recipe called Sweet Tor uh, Hurricane that uh, that I made that I really liked, but it's definitely not a main attraction or a main uh, no. But it's it seems like it'd be a, like if you're doing like a blueberry yogurt, it, like it'd be a good ingredient for that kind yeah. of recipe, or like a dark berry yogurt. Uh, Dobie in chat says he loves sweet tornado and he mixes it with fulvoric cream. Um, so it's yeah, it's interesting to say that when you push it, it it goes more cardboardy than it does like extra sour yeah, yeah that's what i, mean, I would be I, afraid of yeah i i, I went from 2.5 to five percent so i doubled it it is in aware five percent for in aware is fucking high that's pretty high. yeah but that's i was really thinking it was, i was thinking it was a one shot oh uh, yeah, kind yeah. of deal or, or i was thinking it was uh their pineapple which is weak as all hell sometimes that's true Pineapple so is. Yeah. I and I figured I'm gonna throw this away anyways because I don't really like it. Let's see if I max it out. You know, save some of it in that cardboard. You can use it. Uh, no, it makes it way better. Way better. That's why. You, so you gotta, yeah. you That's why you can use it. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can use it, but you have to. You have to want. A uh, Greek yogurt with bilberries. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. else you can do. Blueberries. So that's why I put it last. Uh, but on to the next one. I put uh, I put shisha bilberry by Inawera. Man, that is it, weird. That's a weird flavor. Uh, yeah. I don't it's, actually hate it, but it's just really weird. There's there's eucalyptus in there for one thing. What really? Yeah. It took me a while to pick it out. There really is, but uh, there really is a touch of it in there. And I smelled the bottle after trying it. I was like, yeah, that's the eucalyptus is even stronger that way. I don't know what they were thinking with that. It is it is a, a, a bilberry type of flavor. It's a blueberry type flavor that's got it's a little like kind of 
syrupy sweet with a little bit of earthiness to it. Kind of a tea, kind of a tea taste behind it, but with a really, the eucalyptus started to stand out pretty quickly, and then I was like, that's weird. That sounds very specific. I don't know if Daniel got that, because his face was an indication. That he, he, he doesn't, he doesn't not believe me. Yeah. I only no, tried no, it at one and a half percent. I hadn't messed with uh, different it's concentration. It's try for it in a though. So. I'm still confused with this one because I made a mix with it and I was expecting one thing and I got some completely different out of it. Uh, it it has weird background tropical notes like guava uh, or grapefruit. Uh, yeah, it's a funky thing. Yeah, it, it's a good funk if you can kind of handle it. Uh, but, I, you know, I got, it, it was the darkest and the tartest out of the bunch, out of the four I had. Uh, it was semi-juicy. It was watery. Uh, it had no body. It was mostly funk. And then those tropical notes were surprising to me. Um, that's why I just it just wasn't really a bilberry. It was weird. Not bad, though. It doesn't really sound like a shisha bilberry, either. Yeah. It wasn't well, what I was shisha. expecting at all. Yeah. Uh, from their shisha flavors, anyway. So it seems like they nail some of them and other ones that are pretty far Exactly. Off. They, you never know what their shishas. Like, yeah. you, it's either really good or the worst thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Into the two everybody had. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I realized quickly why the, <laughs> this is number two, uh, flavor art. It's just, uh, you can see it's an additive. It's, 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 it's not as great as a single flavor. I was expecting yeah. to like okay. just want to vape this whole thing. <laughs> There's not but, a real yeah. top note to it, but it's got that yeah. that awesome like dark like dark blueberry jam. It is juicier body. than um, VTA but, uh, and tartar as well. But I got did great. Did you say what it was, guys? Yeah, FA. Well, I, yeah, F uh, FA. Okay. Okay. He, he spit it out very quickly. We all knew what it was, but I didn't want to make he, sure. He did. He said, "Oh yeah, we're, uh, well, we're doing FA," and then uh, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, but yeah, I got grape and blueberry out of it, like a blend. Mm -hmm. and, I can uh, see I got, that, but yeah. the grape is uh, it's not like it's a muskier grape. It is, and it's not yeah. like yeah, yeah, that's where I was going with it. Grape. It's kind of musky. It's yeah. a it's kind of a musky blueberry, and I you know uh, there are recipes where I tried. There's one I was uh, I wanted to point out called Blue Eyes White Dragon by Foment. He's yeah. got it in there. At, 2.7 percent which is a lot of flavor art bilberry and it doesn't taste it tastes great to me and so there's some kind of magic going on in there oh it i have it that high but i've had a single flavor at two percent and i'm not getting anything really off about it it still does kind of have that like musky like I said, it's more body than it is any high notes uh no it doesn't really have the high notes but the muskiness over one and a half one percent by itself to me starts to taste kind of like sweat socks yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot yeah. of that. I did do a recipe. Keep it low. I did mix a recipe where in the notes they're like, for the first two days, this tastes like dirty gym socks. But after that. Yeah, there's a gym like, sock flavor mm -hmm. to it. Maybe that's what they were getting to. Because I don't get that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean. It's like the tannins uh, are like the skin <laughs> of like, you know. Yeah, like tannins are like, are. but they're. Tannins are like a really subjective thing, though. Too, it's they're supposed to be more like a, like bitter, aren't they? Yeah, not so. Or is that or, is, or are tannins just bitter when you're like sensitive to them and you don't like tannins? Because there's people that I can't remember if like you're sensitive to them and that's why you're like like a sommelier with wine or whatever, or if you're not sensitive to them and that's why you can like enjoy wines and shit. I can never remember. I don't know. That's just, I can't enjoy, I can't pick out the nuance and shit and wine and, and things get really bitter on me really quick with alcohols and stuff. So, I'm, but there's the people that aren't like that or the, anyways, I'm right. Like, tannins. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and don't I, I I don't get gym socks, but I get similar cardboard features above three percent. You and your cardboard, you are you get a lot of cardboard from a lot. I, of, it's it's, it's terrible. If I rather have cardboard peppers, guy. at least I can make some, you know, like steak and cheese or omelets, you know, something with it. But no, I get <laughs> cardboard a lot, and I get it from baked strawberries, Wonder Flavor. And yeah, Dave. that's what I mean. You Always get cardboard. reminds me how my life sucks. That's your off yeah. note. Yeah. 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 I know it does suck. Um, I got a spoiler alert for something we have upcoming in a few weeks. The um, blueberry 
you know how Jungle Flavors likes to like take a flavor art thing and do it just a little bit better? Yeah. They have done that with their blueberry. It's yep. it's flavor art bilberry, but just a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So I and mean, I would even Me go so too, far as to would... say, yeah, I would I would even go so far as to say that if you have uh, jungle flavors blueberry for some reason you don't already have flavor art bilberry you could probably just forget that flavor art bilberry exists yeah can you I sell them one to one or do you need to bump up the jungle flavors? you need more jungle flavors. a, a little bit up. more jungle yeah. flavors not a lot more but a little bit more but it's like still... a one to one and a half something like that yeah like a one and a one like a one to one and a half or one to one and a quarter yeah it's still oh, barely anymore yeah like one drop more yeah yeah cool. that's good to know it's very similar but superior in a couple of ways. Yeah. Also cheaper. Is it? I, I wow. guess. I don't know. I would feel like the flavor. Yeah, I don't know. I have a okay. like, price check FA and jungle. jungle what beer. is the best Billberry flavor, yeah, Daniel? One. It's DPA. It's so <laughs> obvious it's big for me. Um <laughs> It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's VTA. Blueberry Bright. Emily's just like, shut the fuck up. Jam. Get out. Okay, oh, so the, <laughs> why does why does Vape Train even have a blueberry jam flavor? No, they're yeah, I agree. Blueberry their blueberry jam is too bright for a blueberry jam. And this one is this is blueberry Vape jam. Vape Train Billberry <laughs> Ripe is blueberry jam flavor. It, it's so good. It's again, it's kind of missing some of those upper top notes, but not as bad as FA's, I don't think. And it's got that really dark, jammy body to it. Yeah, yeah. this one is what you need for a blueberry jam. It's bright and kind of candy. It's jammy as all get out. It still mm-hmm. has like a nice darkness, like a stickiness. Like it's it's a good flavor. I think yeah. most I think that even the best blueberry jam flavors that we talked about with blueberry jams, um could use some help. Um, I'm not sure that Big Train Billberry Ripe always would need help. It's got enough flavor there. No, oh, and you can bump it. And yeah, nice. and it's very yeah. bold. Like it's very flavorful. Yeah, so you could just you could just have one flavor for a blueberry jam layer versus you know mixing a couple of them together. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, yep. I even like it for like putting kind of a candied edge to other blueberries because it is kind of half like a bright kind of sweet really sweet like candy type it's very sweet and again and it can do that thing like that fa does at like half a percent or or 0.75 or you can to boost other blueberries or whatever to kind of give them that more that like if it's too bright of a blueberry and you want to like darken it out a little bit um mm-hmm. you can also use it in the exact I wouldn't push way it too much though like when I push it, sorry, tops, probably. yeah, when I push it above three percent, I got the soapy stuff that Dave was talking about earlier oh, really? with Keisha, I think it was. So uh, that was me. All these I did one percent, and then I bumped them up uh, to either three or five, and I bumped it up, I think, to four percent, and it was it got bitter and soapy to me. So hmm. there's a fine line from three to four. Are... Yeah, I think two or three percent is all you would need. Yeah. yeah, you don't. Yeah, you know. I, I was Skitters just are. Skitter Smurf is our uh, soap little, taster. Soap taster. So yeah, I'd be curious what he thinks. But yeah, yeah, he has a problem with blueberries and soap. Yeah. Yeah, but this is above three percent. Right, and I I think I saw it in a mix one. on its own, and it was at like point, two point five or two point seven yeah. five or something like that. So yeah, three and under, you're fine. Yeah, sure. one to one point five seems to work best in mixes, especially like. especially if you're mixing with other notes, obviously. Yeah. So. But. Yeah, recipes. We got lots of 20 minutes of flavors and 40 minutes of recipes. Yes, yeah, so we uh, wanted to see what this bilberry can do. So we, we got some recipes to, to use these flavors. And let's get into it. Who's, how many of you guys, how many recipes do you guys do? I mixed five of them. I have three. Okay. I got one. But I've got one. It's a good one. Is it? Yeah, I, I saw yours. Yeah, save yours towards yeah. the end. This, yours this is a really good one directly one. changed my life. Like, it uh, made me want to DIY more. Wow, that's a powerful yeah. one. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and then he disappeared. 
Uh, that's not really what happened, but yeah. Anyways. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go first because I have tried so many of them. I just, I'm going to get tired of blueberries pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, haven't you gotten tired of them yet? Yeah, no, I want you guys to try to help me figure out what's going on with this recipe. Um, one of them was called BBW, Belgian waffle, blueberries, and whipped cream. Hmm. Um, so the ingredients are liquid barn baker's touch, 0.5%, liquid barn Belgian waffle, 3%, flavor art bilberry, 0.5%, bake train bilberry ripe, 1.5%, Molenberry classic Belgian waffle, 3%, uh, SSA crisp waffle, 0.5%, Flavora sweet cream, 1%, and SSA Whipped cream, one point five percent. I mixed this one, I, I think, very recently, or I saw that, and that looks really good. This I did, looks really good. It's by Noctum, and that's what I thought too. Is that it looks really good, right? Okay, so I mixed it, I tried it, and my first impression was this tastes like blueberry wine. Really? Like it freaking tastes like blueberry wine, like fermented and sweet. After I baked on it a bit, it started. I started to taste the waffle underneath that, and it does have like a really rich, creamy texture, like whipped cream. So it really does kind of taste like waffles with blueberries and whipped cream, but also drenched in blueberry wine. Um, so I went back over the recipe because it looked good to me on paper to figure out where it went wrong, and I really can't. I don't see what you like. I see. What would cause that? Like a heavy bakery waffle. Um, I think it might be like the crisp waffle with the iron, you know, the, the waffle iron kind of taste that it has. Right. The way that interacts with the blueberry. Does I don't Baker's know. Does Baker's Touch have any? Baker's Touch is just kind of like a. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't, it's been so long. I don't even yeah. remember what Baker's Touch tastes like. It could because it's even possible that my one of one or more of my flavors has gone bad because like your liquid long barn, yeah, yeah, liquid barn baker's touch think, that has been untouched for a really long. I think time. that's mine's been on. I did mix with it recently, but otherwise, I've had my bottles since I'm pretty sure like my first or second ever order. So, so like, like there yeah. might be like nothing at all along yeah. with the recipe, and it's all just that one of my flavors has gone off. But yeah, because I mean, it looked. I thought this looks good on paper. I'm excited about this, but um, yeah, no, um, it's. It's blueberry wine. That's weird. Yep. Weird. Anybody have any idea what's causing that? No, I got the, I can't I have seen nothing. Just in blame that. liquid barn and call it a day. Cool. We'll do that. Sweet cream. I don't even the floor sweet cream and the whipped cream to me seems like a good combination because I get like a ready whip whipped cream from the, the floor sweet cream, I remember. Um yeah, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what you would get off from this. I don't think there's any like weird citrus notes in Baker's Touch. I think that's the FA one, the pastry zest or whatever that has that. Flavora. Flavora I'm only missing zest. the yeah. two LBs, so I'm, that's the only thing I could guess. But I don't know. That Wait, like you're that. saying this like this wine. tastes like bilberry wine? Blueberry wine. Yeah, it tastes like blueberry wine. wine. That's weird. Or like blueberry wine like spilled on a waffle. You're getting maybe you're getting okay maybe you're just getting this weird yeast note from from that bakery combo for some weird reason yeah that's making you read wine something to do with the way it's combining with the blueberry yeah that like hey now that you mention it blueberry wine good. blueberry wine syrup on a pancake <laughs> yeah pretty much that, that. sounds bougie as fuck <laughs> <laughs> there's like, yeah, there are, there are wine moms out there right now. Yeah. Been, like, trying that's to find, a Pinterest trying recipe. Trying right to there. find this. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the blueberry wine. Your very own blueberry recipe. wine pink <laughs> syrup that's still alcoholic. Yep. Yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Uh, uh, nobody knows. I don't know what's wrong. You want me to do one or do you want to do another one? You got five. I got three. I have one more for you. It's called Make Purple Grape Again. I've heard good things about this one. Yeah, so um, this recipe is by DIY Discord, which means it was the DIY E-Juice Discord, some people from there um, having a collaborative thing going on there. 
Um, they wanted to take Inaware grape and make it taste like a real grape instead of tasting like purple or tasting primarily like purple. And so they mixed it at 2% with 3% Capella Double Apple and 1% Flavor Art Bilberry. Um, I love the idea of making a grape like Inaware grapes taste more like real grapes than fake purple grapes using the Flavor Art Bilberry. Or yeah, like I, I think... said, Jungle Flavors Blueberry would probably work just as well, if not better. But yeah, using Flavor Art Bilberry to, to fix a grape sounds like a great, great idea. Um, so, does, so does honestly using an apple. Well, like... that's the thing. And in their description, they talk about how at this, at this concentration, the apple is disappeared. And for me, I, you know, I mixed it and the apple isn't disappeared for me. It, it, it seems to be competing with the grape. Is this, um, have you ever had, have you ever gotten one of those, gone to the grocery store and had one of those grapple things? Yes. Yes. That's what it tastes like. Ah, it tastes like, like a, a purple grapple. apple. Yes. Like a purple apple. Yes. Th this is a real thing. It, it's a real apple that's been. Or an apple that tastes like a grape. Yeah. With artificial grape flavor. They infuse it into the apple. Uh, it's very weird. It, it shouldn't exist, but it does, and and that's what this tastes like. This grapple. makes me think that it's a two year old recipe or whatever. But it, the cap double apple that's what Wayne uses in his watermelon recipe to add that crisp, crisp undefined crisp, crispness. undefined crispness that you know it, it seems like that's the idea that they're going for here. Yeah, it seems like it's like like the like when you bite into a grape and it just squirts in your mouth. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you would. Need I've, had, a, I've had similar thoughts recently about real grapes. You would grapes. need an apple. Uh, <laughs> you would need an apple flavor for that. I would think it would be perfect for it. But what, I don't know why. Maybe less of the apple. Yeah. Or or a different apple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't know. think it uses that much. You just you're just using it for the texture more. So that one that one really flavor, stands but, out though. It it tastes like a grapple. That. Seems good though. That like a grape and an apple mix doesn't seem like a bad thing. Is no, it, man, it doesn't taste bad. Grap a grapple doesn't taste bad. It's, yeah, it's wrong, but it's not bad. Right. Um, wrong. Yeah, they describe <laughs> it incorrectly. Um, <laughs> is that harsh at all? Just because I, I know a lot of people get harsh off of the I, double apple, but I didn't find it to be harsh. No. Yeah, I don't either. So okay, cool. Yeah, I saw that one. Um, I did one pretty similar. Um, by Rugly. Oh, Rugly, what have you done? Uh, it's called Purple Drink, P R P L Drink. Um, and this is fun. Drank, D R A N K. Purple Drink. Um, he said this mix replicates a tall glass of my childhood favorite. Um, he, he uses Flavor West grape soda, capital apple. Okay, so I'm gonna read this real quick. Um, uh, F.A. Bilberry, 0.25, the Vape Train Creaming Soda at 1, Cap Double Apple at 4, in a wear Grape at 2, Flavor West Grape Soda at 2, and then Super Sweet at 0.25. Um, he says it's pretty good off the shake, but he steeps it for at least 24 hours. This is funny. I vaped this off the shake, and my fiance said, this smells like cough medicine. And I was like, it kind of tastes like cough medicine, but it tastes like a really good cough medicine. Like, this is a cup of lean or like fucking like actual, <laughs> like purple drank, purple drank. You know, like I think, I think Rugly's mom was trying to knock him out when she gave him this <laughs> as a kid. Because right off the bat, yeah, it, you got like this kind of like cough medicine, but not in a real, not in a bad way. It's really weird how <laughs> to describe that. You get a really full get the apple grape. Um, <laughs> mixed thing but and then, <laughs> then after you vape on it for the day after about a day that goes away and you're kind of just left with like what he says it's a it's it's like this purple purple soda drink type thing um with some apple in there and yeah, really good. they have flavor west grape soda and capella super sweet in there that's what someone <laughs> said in the discord today both is not necessary <laughs> He's only got it at a quarter of a percent, which is probably equivalent to one percent with the with the sucralose of grape soda in there. But um, I I like it. It's it's tasty, especially since that you know it doesn't taste like there's codeine in it anymore. Yeah. Um, the creaming soda is not really adding. I mean, it's just adding some like smoothness to the whole thing, but. It's a good mix. I, I like it for a great mix. It's actually pretty tasty. Cool. 
And it's really weird vaping it off the shake and being like, this tastes good. Like, I feel like I want to go party now or something. You know? <laughs> With the medicine in it. But, you know, anyways. Um, I got one that I think you'll like. It's called Bilberry Meringue by It's Kame. It's come? Kame? I don't know. What? I-T-S-K-A-M-E. It's the person's name. It's come? It's Kame, I'm going to say. <laughs> Maybe it's came. I don't know. Came. Anyway. <laughs> the recipe is uh, over five years old. And the ingredients are flavor art bilberry, 1.75%, flavora cinnamon crunch, 1%, and flavor art meringue, 1%. That's, that's it. Easy. That's I know, right? So I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" That's not that looks. That looks like I bet you vaped this, and you're like, "Wow." That's yeah. That's not the whole recipe, right? And uh, the the author, the creator, wrote reminds me of a blueberry scone with sweet cinnamon, and yeah, it really does taste something kind of like a blueberry scone with a hint of cinnamon. It really is that easy. To make a tasty recipe. That cinnamon crunch is an, an underrated flavor. It, it is really a, is. It really is. That you get you get good bakery cereal, you get a good amount of like light cinnamon out of it. Um, it's pretty much I think I'd I'd use that with just just that milk and like some apple and made you know apple cinnamon toast crunch like really easily and it tastes good. But yeah, I, like I said, I bet I bet there's plenty of flavor there. No, I didn't get any weird notes from the bilberry, and there's a, like a touch of sweet cinnamon on top. It's got kind of that sugary, gritty bakery body. Mm -hmm. um, it's sweet. It's got some real blueberry taste in the middle there from the bilberry. Um, I thought it was an amazing recipe, like full spectrum of flavor. That's it's crazy. Three point seven five percent total in, uh, flavor in that. And the meringue's not reading like cereal milk or anything. It's reading as like this, just this dusted like sugary, sugary, sugary. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. They, that is that a, kind of mind blowing. Yeah. How well that came out. Something so simple. Uh, and then one point seven five bilberry would scare me. It was a little scary for me. Yeah, I was like, this is gonna taste like socks. But no, it doesn't taste like socks at all. It tastes like um, blueberry scones with cinnamon. Five-year-old recipe. That's cool. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. it. Just had one review on there. All right, I got one. I developed, and uh, this one I guess Emily had a part of. Didn't realize that until just now. Uh, called Chuck Bubbleberry. Collaborative creation by Develop, Nashef, Max Savage, Folk Art, and special guest ML Nikon. Mole Nikon. Uh, they're sticking to the theme of bubblegum, which was covered by Noted that week. This recipe is two years old. So, all right. Uh, Mullenberry American Bubblegum at four, Vape Train Bilberry Ripe at one, FA Marshmallow at 0.5. Got Flavor West Razzleberry at three, Cap Super Sweet 0.25, Cap Sweet Candy at one, and Cap Sweet Current at 1.5. Okay, yeah, I looked at that and thought that looks pretty good. I need to get that razzleberry out too. It's been a while. Yeah, that's how I felt about the sweet currant and the sweet candy. Mm. So, oh, I haven't touched those in a minute. Same with the FA Marshmallow, <laughs> honestly. Um, this is really good. That that bubblegum really the you don't get a ton of like in your face bubblegum flavor, and and I feel like that's kind of what they're going for because it does definitely still read as as bubblegum. But you get that that sharpness from the sweet currant, um, the the nice uh, syrupy basiness from the razzleberry, the candy you know um, basiness from the razzleberry. Oh. That bilberry ripe just adds some darkness. Do you remember now? My gosh, razzleberry and bilberry ripe. It sounds like an amazing combination. Emily, mm -hmm. this is, you helped make this recipe apparently. Because razzleberry has that same kind of quality is bilberry right that like that like syrupy candy, candy like, body yes. sweetness yeah yeah yes i remember this 
Yeah, no, this is really good. And then that, and there's that pop of the sweet currant in there is just super delicious. The marshmallow is making it smooth. And then, like I said, the bubble gum, it's not, you know, there's other bubble gums you could add to really make this like an in your face bubble gum flavoring as well. But this really just adds like that, that background bubble gum note of pink kind of that, and, and some body that, that, you know, it still reads as bubble gum, but, um, but the, but the fruits really, the candied fruits really are the star of this. I'm gonna have to mix this up again. It's been a, it's been a while. An advocate for liberty said, "Make this and sub the new wonder flavors fruity gum." Uh, the base or the strawberry one, advocate. He knows. I'm assuming the base. They got I'm two because they got. I wonder if he'd. Because uh, there's soft candy base, and then there's the the pink. I'm wondering if the fruit notes from the fruity gum would be too much though the whole th reason why this works is because like the only fruit is the bilberry sure. mouth berry because the american bubble gum is very it's just pink yeah it's really just like i said it's not re yeah. i wonder if the juice that that new bubble gum from wonder flavors really reads is like juicy fruit bubble gum like yeah. if you get that fruity in the smell but they also have i wonder if instead of the sweet candy you could use like the the taffy base or the or the, the soft the soft sweet candy base or something sweet candy has that that same kind of pop to it that helps, you know, where I don't, I, I haven't seen the flavor test this, the flavor you're talking about yet. Right. But from the smell and like the taste, I did, I mixed the taste, so I smelled it and I did like a job on my skin. It didn't seem to have the kind of that same, like, I got you. Pop, you know, maybe instead of the marshmallow. Who knows? Either way, this is still a really good recipe. If you got the flavors, mix it. <laughs> it needs blue dwarf. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, I, honestly. Okay, Chiba. It would be one of those. Yeah, the this it, blue dwarf would be right for this profile. You're right on that. Yeah, but this is still good. And I, I like I said, I really do like enjoy how the American bubble gum works its way in there versus any. Because I am a bubble gum fan. I love. I have a lot of bubble gum flavorings, and yeah. Anyways, moving on. Take it away. Oh, okay. I can do that. I can help you with that soon. Uh, another one by the DIY Discord. Some people on the DIY Discord. It's called You're My Boy Blue. You're my boy blue? Oh, I've seen this recipe around. Yeah, it's uh, been around almost three years old. Um, it's vape train bilberry ripe at 2%. Flavora boysenberry at 1%. Flavora citrus soda at 0.25%. Vape train fizzy sherbet at 3.5%. Uh, Capella super sweet at half a percent. And WS23 at 0.25%. You ever had a recipe that just made you mostly miss another recipe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one, this one made me miss develops a uh, blueberry champagne recipe from the Kind Brown fundraiser. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I have uh no no beef at all with the execution here. It it clearly tastes like blueberry sprite or Seven Up. Like if you can, you know, you go to Sonic and you can get syrups added to your drink. Yeah. It's like if one of the syrups you could get added to your drink at Sonic was blueberry and you got it added to your, your Sprite or 7-Up, whichever. Um, yeah. To, maybe that is a, even a thing. I mean, it might be. I don't know. I haven't checked the Sprite menu. I mean, the Sonic menu in a while. Anyway, that it's. I'd say it's perfectly executed. I just think that blueberry goes better with champagne than with Sprite. So... <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it made me it made me miss that uh that blueberry champagne recipe which was a really really good one nice i'm definitely going to finish the bottle though there's nothing wrong with it all right should we let emily and our guests do the last two and then we just get ours out of the way or did you want to do yours emily no go ahead okay uh, go for it I don't care either. So. Okay, I got one left. This one's really weird. Um, it's interesting. It's called... I like weird stuff. Let's see it. Moon Mistish Ice Cream. Ah. Is this a Vixen's recipe? It says, it's from Joe Bloma. 
Uh, it doesn't say anywhere that he mixed it for okay. Pixies. It might be. It's like a yellow, green, and purple ice cream. Moon mist ice cream, I guess. A blend of banana, grape, and bubblegum flavored ice cream. Saw this and I was like, ooh, that's a that's a risky recipe. Um, I guess there's Vapor Junkie has a moon mist ice cream. Uh, oh, that's such a risky combination. I, it still is, in my opinion, after mixing this. It's a risky fucking profile we go for. Uh, anyway, Mul Mulberry American Bubble Gum at two and a half, Vape Train Banana Custard at one and a half, F.A. Bilberry 0.75, Inaware Grape 1.5, Flavorless Grape Soda 0.5, Cap Super Sweet 0.5, Local Bar and Vanilla Ice Cream at four, T Bay Vanilla Squirrel at one. So I do just want to read this. For I'm afraid of this. Um, <laughs> I'm legitimately afraid of that recipe. This is one that says. Uh, in aware of grapes and F.A. Bilberry is a wet, dirty sock with bright grapes at first, but with the E.M. and vanilla swirl, the off notes blend into something better down the road. Um, make purple grape again is where this Bilberry experiment came from. That's where I saw it. He got the idea from that recipe. Uh, he said the vape fan banana custard carries a banana and some vague spiciness in the background. Works really well here. Uh, Does it though? Why would you want ice cream? Does it? He said, by the time it's all steeped, I don't get a defined grape, banana, or bubblegum, but a mix and hints of each as I vape. Which is like, he kind of nailed all of it in his description, which is weird because it doesn't taste quite like what I would expect the actual ice cream to taste. Um, it does have, it's this vague, there is this vague spiciness in the background, which is weird. I don't, wasn't sure. Yeah, it's like, it, it, oh, right. <laughs> Clone of the banana flavors. Yeah, and it seems to be accentuated in this by maybe the bananas uh, or the grapes. I mean, because um, I wasn't sure if it was a local barn ice cream or not. If I was like, am I getting pepper notes off this? <laughs> <laughs> I always think that now, and I'm like, ah. yeah. Oh, is this? Could this be the time? Uh, I uh, yeah, for real. Is this, this be the time when I succumb to the pepper? Yeah, I hope not. So, yeah, but there is this vague spiciness in the background. Of the, it, and everything is kind of, like he says, undefined. You do kind of got this weird, creamy, like, there's, I can tell there's kind of a banana note in there, but there's also this grape note. And it's also this weird bubblegum note. And it's kind of, bubblegum ice creams are, they're interesting. And I've mixed a few. Um, and they're always just, they're, they're a unique vape for sure. And this definitely does not shy away from being a unique vape. I'm not getting anything really bad off of it. I don't think I'll ever mix it again. <laughs> it's not a ringing endorsement. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. If you want something that's a little different, maybe try something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said, it's not bad. You know, it, it, he he kind of built it in an interesting way, and there's some there's some things to learn from that. But I don't know. This is a weird recipe. I have to, I have to let it sit aside and try it again after he says a week, and I've given it I think three days. So <sighs> then he also says I'm, four weeks. It's even better. So I am gonna pass on the great boss cream. Great boss cream, yeah. Great yeah. banana bubblegum boss cream. This might be a good use for that new. The, the new wonder flavors one because juicy fruit has kind of like an inherent banana kind of vibe going fruit vibe going with it i will tell you the 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 my favorite recipe of the five that i tried from the bilberry flavors oh good i'm glad you saved it for last i did yeah it's called blueberry iced tea very straightforward name by stabert how clever stabert make those great soda recipes if you'll recall but this is not a soda recipe. This is an iced tea uh, with 1.25% vape train bilberry ripe, 0.5% jungle flavors blueberry, 0.75% uh, capella hibiscus, 2% flavora lemon tea, and he puts 0.5% uh, WS23 in there with a the note saying, you know, it's optional, use it your own, you know, however you like it. I went ahead and went for the 0 0.5 and it was great for me yeah it's really good yeah it is really good and it how, is what's that how tea forward is the flavora it's not it's subtle but it's but it's not absent at all either it's right. it's throughout two percent for a flavora yeah, so 
Yeah, lemon tea is a great has, is a great flavor, and uh, yeah, it it definitely is a blueberry iced tea made with blueberry syrup and a little splash of lemon. So, um, it made me quite happy. It was a perfect a perfect way to use that because lemon and blueberries, as we've discussed before, just go so well together. Uh huh. Even and when it's, tea it's, it's, it's lemon tea is like the perfect sweet tea. <laughs> like it's really it's funny how much. It doesn't matter either if it's like a bright blueberry or a blackberry or a or a jammy blueberry. Lemon is just like the perfect thing to add to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that hibiscus too. That's yeah. Like make it all syrupy. That's, I mean, the, the bilberry ripe is already so jammy and sweet. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, the hibiscus it just makes it like syrup. And so it really is just like, a, a, like you had iced tea and you sweetened it with a bunch of blueberry syrup. And there you go. Squeeze of lemon in there. Mm, it's delightful. Looks it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm done, so it's on YouTube. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys David, trying? you want to go or you want me to? I don't care. I get uh, ladies first, I guess. All right. So, Daniel, go ahead. <laughs> uh, that was, I set myself up. Go ahead, <laughs> Um. So, I'm actually glad that Addie Tuning <laughs> is in the in the audience tonight because one of the recipes I mixed up it's not it, it's not his it's actually Dave's but it's Mr. Tooney's Better Business Bureau he paid me to make that and we talked about this a little bit last week uh, for Blueberry Jam um, I hadn't tried it at that point so I didn't know what they were talking about and I have since forgotten what they said about it so I'm going to just talk about it. <laughs> I almost mixed this for this week until, yeah, Spider makes it last week. And I was like, ah, I'll skip it. You, you so, but, yeah. Cause I it's should have. Because it's really freaking good. As I much as I didn't want to like it, because I hate <laughs> liking Dave's recipes, but I'm not a fan girl. Uh, it's bilberry ripe at three and three quarters percent. Blueberry jam by Wonder Flavors at 1.75 percent. Cookie butter Wonder Flavors at 2 percent. Ice cream vanilla by SSA at 1.25%. Effie lemon at 0.25%. Shortbread cookies at 1.25%. And Capella sugar cookie at 3.75%. This is this is Dave's recipe? This is yeah. Dave's recipe. Oh, it's one of those it's one of those live mixing kind of recipes. It's something yeah. thrown together live. Um that, 2% uh, cookie butter. Mmm. That would make anything nervous. taste good. I was nervous making this up because I don't like one of flavor shortbread cookies. Yeah, the shortbread cookies is the only risk here. <laughs> yeah. Everything else is just so. Why don't you like it? Obvious. Because to me, shortbread cookies is too dark and burnt and almost like coffee tasting. Really? Yeah. So I don't. I've never seen this flavor. recipe okay. at all. Like, I bet it's the like cookie, cookie, the, the sugar cookie helping that out. As low as it is, and with the steep and with the sugar cookie, it just kind of gives a crispness to that sugar cookie to make it read more like a shortbread cookie. Instead of a sugar cookie. Is it reading like a shortbread cookie or like a sugar cookie with that nice, like, crunchy, crusty bottom? I, I don't know. Either one? It, They're very I, similar. And you so. can't get at that level in a very... No, you're right. I mean, short, what's like, a shortbread cookie with a Is it with a, a cookie with sugar? blueberry jam on it? It's yeah, a, right. You should know this, but it's like one of those thumbprint cookies. It's like a cookie with blueberry jam on it. And it's like a bright, candied blueberry jam. Um, but it's got enough of that dark from the Wonder Flavors blueberry jam to like make it like a real jam and not just like a blueberry lollipop or something with a cookie, you know, like it's, it's really good and it's buttery and it's just, I am loving it and I really like it and it's good and you should mix it up. Yeah. Yep. What's the ice cream doing in that? It's just it's making just it kind of creamy. Like, um, a buttery, it's it's adding butter. butter. It's okay. All it is. It's helping it's, with the It's extra butter. vanilla in the cookie and butter was the idea. Nice. Mostly butter. Nice. And it's yeah. doing that. Yeah, it's doing that. Cool. Yeah. That looked more, that one looked really good. If you like bakeries and you like blueberry, you got to mix this up because it's good. So this is the recipe that I was talking about where I was like, I've seen bilberry ripe used over 3%. It was yeah, that's 
I was yours that. the whole time. You're in your head like, yeah. And then I'm not, I'm not like um, <laughs> sensitive to that soap note or anything, and I don't, right. so I yeah. don't get that here. Um, you know, skitter may, may, I don't know, but uh, it's just really good and really bold, and it's, it's like mostly jam with a little bit of cookie to me. Like the cookie's still there and still very readable. And you can shake and vape it. It's jam forward. As someone that. You, when I mixed it at four percent, and I was getting that uh, soapy note, with all the stuff that Dave put against it, I don't think you would taste it, even if you had that sensitivity. Like I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be good. He, Dave, also mixed because that was for Truckin's uh, stream, right? Yeah. You also, I also paid you to make uh, Daniel's vacation, so you just yes. destroyed that day. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun that day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because you were you were auctioning off, yeah, mixes. To he was people. there yeah. for like six hours. Yeah, or yeah he was there for a while. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, Daniel paid me to make something too, so I sent him on vacation. <laughs> yeah, I, I dropped a couple bombs that day. Did he use Bilberry in yours too? So is that the only no. way you mix, Dave? Yeah, for other the, people, yes. Yeah. Hey, for some. Because normally you get other people to mix for you. For <laughs> I do. I don't even have to pay. <laughs> I All had an idea here. about this recipe, you Italy. Don't what do you think? Mix, bro. <laughs> no, I don't. Not anymore. What What do you uh, What do you think about this recipe? If you took out the flavor express lemon and replaced it with flavora pastry zest. Yeah. Would another lemon bakery like, like, like Pandora or Metagor or something, be an idea? I yeah, see pastry zest being good in here. Yeah. Or um. Because it's it too is like a bright, a like a brighter note, you know. Yeah, but uh, I think when you're doing like lemon zest and a lot of in even in cooking, that's it's that bright, almost candied lemon taste. So I don't. Yeah, the flavor express lemon, lemon's probably the best. Probably a good enough option yeah. there. And sure. I know it's not a three, at a quarter of a percent. But with bilberry ripe, you don't necessarily need it either. You know what I mean? Like you kind of don't. Enough, it's bright enough on its own. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> don't. Oh. Either way. Daniel's got something life changing for us. Yeah, yeah. let's hear it, Daniel. I'm I all mean, ears. You ever baked I mean, it's, it's not. I, I mean, yeah, okay. It's it's life changing. It's it's a great recipe. Uh, it's Alfred Puddin's uh, rain. Um, oh yeah, that's he's got a one. few in this like, um, like this this portfolio, right? Essentially, mm -hmm. like this album so that he has of. It, it's supposed to emulate rain which is, type. that automatically has a mixture like made my mind start going to make <laughs> weird things you know but uh real quick it is uh gosh sorry it, it was just one of the first recipes that i ever tried that i loved and it was uh vape train bilberry right 1.75 uh inaware cactus which i love 0 0.25 hibiscus candy at a whopping four percent Honeysuckle uh, by TPA at three, Starfruit uh, Wonder Flavors SC uh, 2.5, and then an optional, uh, which I've done both. I prefer it without, surprisingly, the WS23. You can use it at 0.5 or lower. It's up to you kind of deal. Uh, it, so, I mean, you it, it tastes as close as rain could possibly taste. It, it, Daniel, it, this says... It, that this recipe was inspired by yours. No, he his recipe was inspired by this recipe. Oh, yeah. It, it does. I got it says recipe oh, okay, inspired guys. by this one. All right, all right. Recipe he made purple brain. ATF. Okay, gotcha, your gotcha. your wording's a little confusing on that. All right. <laughs> so but yeah, so yeah, no. This recipe intrigued me so much that I ordered the flavor. And with that recipe right there, in return, I substituted uh the bilberry ripe, which I didn't have, with a uh, purple rain by Anawera. Uh, and it turned out great. I love both recipes. This recipe is just like it tastes like water if water was amazingly delicious. It is just unique and it's refreshing. It's perfect for all year round. I like it in the winter or the summer. Uh, and it's just delightful. But it's not thin. 
No, right? it's it's full body. Uh, it's, <laughs> so it's not watery. That's no, that's, that's such a weird no. concept to me, and I that's it's juicy I think though. One of the things that you yeah, were, that's one of the things that I remember seeing this recipe a long time ago too, and some of the other ones that he did in the same vein is, and. And like what you were saying is like it that was probably one of the first times I ever was like, oh, you can fucking emulate a mix off of anything. Yeah. Like the thought of like what does rain, what does the smell and taste of rain make you think of? And then or what is a there's video? A, game there's song? another one called Rainforest. I can't remember who makes it. And it's similar in this one in how it has mimicked that it's more of a feel. And it's not watered down, it's just water re, if that makes sense. Like it's not watered down or kind of it doesn't taste bad. It's one of the yeah. it's refreshing and juicy. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. It is the perfect beach, summertime, pool, at the bar, chilling outside, campfire, if it's not tobacco. Thanks. It looks very mellow. Too. It was very mellow from what I remember. But it was like, still full. It was Yeah, it was of... full, but it was still a relaxing kind of flavor. Like an ABV a... thing, like a not not Oh yeah, easily. Full but softer and you know, not like in your face. This over. this yeah, it's definitely got gotcha. like a like a chilled surfer vibe. It's got a chilled vibe, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right right on, bro. This, this recipe smokes pot. <laughs> Shaka bra. Shaka, bro. It's a recipe called Rain. <laughs> of course it is, I. <laughs> but yeah, it it just, the idea of it is just as good as the recipe, and it, it sparks a lot of thoughts. <laughs> I like it. Uh, uh, advocate says, what does Mars taste like? This might work. I have some thoughts. <laughs> Mars would taste like chocolate because the candy bars. Well, I guess, yeah. Or it would taste like red dust. Uh, red velvet cake. Hmm. Red velvet Ooh, cake. thoughts brewing. Yeah. Good job. You got I'm it. Telling man. You. I'm telling you, man. Alfred Pudding, we miss you. Alfred Pudding, yep. Would also be very cold, so. Yeah. Yeah, that W. Uh, yeah, WS23 to your red velvet chocolate. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> some WS23 and some red velvet cake. And something to make it earthy. Like Mars does taste like oxidized iron. Yeah. Blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, F- 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 blood at two percent. F A blood. <laughs> some people get kind of a blood note from some cinnamons. Yeah. When it tastes kind of like. Pennies. I get that when it's too much like like pennies or metal. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Salt. Salt. Or like. W S twenty three with the capella cinnamon and sorrel. What's your best cop of paper, guys? Oh, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Blood orange. Blood orange velvet cake. <laughs> yes. Ooh, yeah. There Blood orange velvet cake with uh, cinnamon Dana swirl. That would, that would, there you go. That would taste like blood. Yeah, now we got to make a whole bunch of planet recipes now. Yeah. I'm mm, the first yeah. to do Uranus. <laughs> like I call it. That, that's, oh, that's just the yeah. wonderful uh, Camera, look at me. Ripe Galia melon and Saskatoon yeah, berries. Oh no. With maybe Don't. some champagne soda. <laughs> <laughs> Uranus tastes horrible, you guys. All right. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for coming on again. We love thank having you. you. I love One being here. Thank you. Y'all are my favorite people. One of your guys' favorite guests. Don't get this listed. We're going to take a a small uh, break from blueberries next week. We're going into pink lemonades. Not strawberry lemonades that we did two weeks ago or three weeks ago, but pink lemonades. Pink Pink ones. ones. And there's more. There's a difference. We'll find out, I guess, right? We have a couple of flavors and recipes for that. The difference is when we do just lemonades, we don't have to spend an extra hour on all the strawberry and pink ones. Yeah. Yep. So we'll already have gotten that out of the way. All right. Yeah. Well, so and it's back to blueberries. Back to blueberries. Yep. Back to blueberries for just blueberries. There's randomly a clove in there somewhere. Yeah. It's in two weeks, I think. Oh my goodness. All right. We have gotten out of the we'll, we'll see you all next week for pink <laughs> lemonades. Everyone have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.